is my colleague, Building Information Modeling Manager, Rick Aspen, to tell us exactly what we're looking at here. Thank you. We've 3D printed the whole of Commander Bay that we have so far, plus some potential future developments. And um, it's been going really useful just to kind of give people an insight, especially people who don't really, aren't used to reading 2D drawings. It's a really good tool. It's fascinating because for somebody like me, who's a visual person, I'm getting a real bird's eye view of what the scope of this development yeah. entails. The ability to walk around it too and take a, take a view from different angles. Um, it gives a real deep understanding of what we're actually aiming to do and and also becomes a good sales tool as well for you know various people who are trying to understand what's happening in Commander Bay. What exactly are we looking at? I, I can see the athlete of its highway. Yeah so we got the, the two underpasses here, uh, the new Foster's development over here and the building that we're in, in right now uh, just by the um, Maris Bridge. Um, and then the, the south side here is the, the new CIS development. Square footage, how much are we looking at here? Uh, there's 675 acres in total. I find this fascinating and I'm sure the actual printing process is one you might have fun uh, it's been It's been a lot of fun, yeah. I'm uh, really excited to get hands on new technology. Thanks Rick, we certainly do appreciate it. And to you for joining us for another episode of Cayman Shorts. Until next time, take care.